Hey, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back with another movie review, and as this can see, I'm doing Equalizer 3, starring Denzel Washington. So, first of all, this movie came out in 2023. As I said in my previous Equalizer videos, there used to be a show called Equalizer, I believe, in the 80s. There was another one with Queen Latifah in it in 2021, and there's three movies in this series, as you can see. So... This starts off with Denzel Washington's character, Robert McCall. He is now in Italy. And somehow he got, gets hurt. And he gets taken to a doctor. And they fix him up. And the doctor's like, you know, you're going to draw attention where you're at. Because there's obviously not a lot of black people in this town. But the people are very warm. They treat him with respect. And he really likes it. Well, unbeknownst to him, this is like a mafia. It's not really a mafia town, but the mafia goes into it. So I guess it can be considered. Well, the um, constable, because they're police officers called constables, he gets beat up. And Denzel Washington's not like this. So, of course, Denzel Washington does his little watch thing when he's talking to one of the bad guys. And I like... I just, I just love this movie. It was action-packed. It was heartfelt. Um, one part of the movie where the constable was with his family at a restaurant, the bad guys walk in and, oh, spoilers, and Denzel Washington's sitting there and the bad guy walks up and he's like, you know, you like to be in other people's business. And Denzel Washington's like, I try not to be, but you're making it very hard for me. And he was like, you know, three weeks ago, we wouldn't have been having this conversation because I wasn't here, but now we are. You need to leave or whatever. And I was like, what? Is he speaking Italian? Which, okay, speak Italian if you want to, but this man probably, probably knows like every language there is. So Denzel Washington asked him, you know, is that a, Timex or whatever, looking at his watch, and the guy, you know, being blustery is going to show off because it's out. And that's how Washington grabs his hand. And I don't know if this is true, but I really want to try it on somebody. He presses something called the medium nerve, I believe, where his thumb is at, and it stops the 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 bad guy in his in its tracks. And that's how Washington explaining what he's doing to him. So, um. He takes care of that. Of course, that's going to start a big fuss. Well, you know, the mafia, they come in and they burn down a store because the people, you know, are having a hard time paying them and he just can't take it, take it. Well, lo and behold, we have a, another star in the movie, Dakota Fanning. She plays a CIA agent. And it was so nostalgic to see them together because they were together in a movie called Man on Fire. Now, I don't think I've ever seen that movie, to be honest. But I heard a lot of people say that it was just good to see them back together. And it was in a completely different role. She's a CIA agent. She was trying to bust them. And she's like, you know what? You're a ghost. He goes, am I? I'm thinking this man can pretty much do what he wants because they are not trying to have you get him. Um, I do love that at the end of the movie, he was happy where he was at. He stayed in the little town, as far as we know. Um, the bad guys got taken care of, and everyone was happy. And it was just, he just found a place of peace, which I believe was he was looking through for through the whole movie. He was just looking for that place of peace that he could say that, you know, this is my new home. And I believe he found it. This is another good one. It's got action. And it was really worth it. Like I said, me and my husband, we decided to watch these. So we had a, like a little movie marathon. That's how most of my reviews start. We have little movie marathon nights. And I just, you know, do reviews on what we're watching. But in the comments below, if you know any other action movies that you think I might like, recommend them for me. Um, hit that like button, subscribe, share if you wish. And I will talk to you all for the next review. Bye.